The following experiment by Robert Cialdini and colleagues is one of the most influential studies ever conducted in social psychology. And the scientists wanted to know whether litter in one's surrounding influences behavior. So they went to women's dormitory. Um, the study was conducted about 30 years ago, something we have to keep in mind, and created a mess. So in one condition, they littered the floor with paper cups, candy wrappers, soft drink cans, discarded flyers, cigarette butts, and a hollowed out heel section of a watermelon rind. So all a little bit disgusting. And they all positioned this quite next to the mailboxes of the students. And in all of these mailboxes, they had put flyers. And the big question was whether the female students, when they took out the flyers, whether they would throw their flyers on the ground to all the other litter. And in comparison to a condition in which the floor was completely clean, more than twice of the female students seem to be infected by this dirty surrounding because about 27% threw the flyer to the ground in comparison to the completely clean condition in which about 11% threw the flyer to the ground. But the most interesting part of the study seemed to be the third condition in which the scientists had not littered the, the ground completely, but they only had put one piece of litter on the ground, which was this hollowed out heel section of a watermelon rind. In this condition, only 4% of the uh, students threw the flyer to the ground. So much less than in the condition in which the surrounding had been completely clean. A really surprising result. But of course, results and especially surprising results have to be replicated. So in a recent study published in 2021 by Swedish scientists, they tried to replicate these results once in a parking house and once in a mall. So for example, imagine you are in the parking house, you're coming back to your uh, car and you see a flyer on the windshield. What do you do? Do you throw this flyer to the ground or do you pu put it in your pocket and wait to till the next trash can. And of course, they again had three conditions. In one condition, there was uh, a lot of litter on the ground. In a second condition, there was only this one piece of watermelon junk. And in the third condition, the area was completely clean. And what they found was, just like in the study by Cialdini, when the area was completely clean, much less people threw this flyer to the ground. But what they could not replicate was the effect of just one piece of litter. In their studies, this one piece of litter, in fact, had almost exactly the same effect as a completely littered surrounding. So what is going on? Why did the replication fail? Well, there could be many reasons. For example, norms could have changed. I mean, the study from Cialdini was published about 30 years ago. And of course, it was a completely different sample. And my explanation might be that this watermelon rind that was lying on the ground in the women's dormitory maybe was a bit disgusting. So maybe in this situation, I mean, it were especially female students, maybe many of them thought, well, this is disgusting. I won't throw this flyer here on the ground. I will take it to a trash can. And maybe a watermelon in a parking lot or a parking house does not seem that disgusting. But this is all speculation and there might be other reasons. But the practical implications of these results are clear. You should not, and I repeat, you should not take one single piece of litter and throw it to the ground in order to make people or in order to remind people that, well, this is an area where you should not throw your litter on the ground. In many cases, and this is what the replications showed, in many cases, probably throwing one litter on the ground is almost as bad as if the complete area is littered. That's it for today. If you want to know more about psychology, feel free to take a look at the website and maybe we will see you next time.